What's up guys? Day 6 highlights here, under 100 kg category. We've got Adamion first up with a really, really massive Furanage. Check this out, this is huge. He ends up defending in a really weird way to begin with, but he's just waiting for it. Hand around the back. And here we go. Boom. And Fonesca is looking really good. And there were many more Ippons from the under 100s than the under 90s. So uh, really showing their stuff. Lots of powerful, powerful judo uh, on this day. So nice Uchimata here. There were quite a few Uchimatas actually. And a lot of Seoinages as well. Here's a nice little one. Just uh, wonderful cutting the corner there. And I love the lift. That'll probably be in my final Top Epon Highlights video. But here's uh, Fonesca, and just such a powerful Osotogari. He's so strong, and people can't believe the power that he throws people with. Uh, not much Ashiwaza. I guess that's to be expected at the heavier weights, but I do love seeing uh, the heavier weights pull out some nice uh, foot sweeps here and there. Beautiful Uchimata by the Canadian, a very Japanese-like Uchimata, kind of like a, a push and release kind of Uchimata, if that uh, explanation gets across to you guys. And here we see a Kochi, not the kind of Ashibaza I want to see, I want to see more like Sasai, Ashibarai, uh, Kosoto, these sorts of things. Good Uchimata here by Ida, who went out against Lipitiliani. And I didn't think that was a score, but maybe it was. Koshiguruma here by the Canadian. The Canadians turned out well. But when you're up against uh, Fonesca, I mean, he's just on such form today. He's thrown so many people. I'm pretty sure every contest is either Ippon or one Wazari and then an Ippon. So he's having a cracker of a day. Oh, a nice Sasai here. Sorry, maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe there is a bit of Ashiwaza. Coral now, and this is his trademark throw. I mean, if you're going up against Coral, this is what you're going to get. And it's just one of those things where he's so good, so fast. Uh, he disguises it well with his grips. Nice Uranage here. It's always good to see a taller judoka doing uranage, showing he can do it well. And Fonesca again. What is this, his third Ippon in this video? Stellar performance. Coral again, second Ippon in this video. And this is a weird kind of kataguruma. I don't know if we should give it another name, like an inside kataguruma, because they turn in the opposite direction. Blue goes in for an uchimata, but it's actually white who shows them how it's done. That's how you do Uchimata, my friend. And Turboayev, Turboayev, sorry, but uh, ends up going over for an Uchimata here, and I don't like how people fall on their heads when they do this. Lipitiliani did it as well, and he thought it was his score, but that is not the case. A nice Osoto here with a low lapel grip, using the elbow to go in. That's always effective. Next up, is that a Chinese athlete? Don't see many Chinese athletes. Losing to Seoi Nage by Dawson. And just the last couple of Ippons here, guys. Uh, the tournament's not over. We still have the finals for the under 100s and tomorrow. The big heavyweights so like and subscribe and i'll give you the latest updates and the coolest breakdowns well i think they're cool anyway so uh yeah see you later peace out